What is good, my fellow warriors of light? This is your host, Lotus Moon, with another Mobius Final Fantasy video. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick rundown of the Boosted Greater Summon Batch 1 and Batch 2 information. That is correct. Batch 2, apparently the information was released early on the main uh, Square Enix website. Now, I don't know if this was intentional, but it looked like it was leaked on accident since there are no pictures on that uh, Batch 2 information. So I'm not sure if they'll be taking that information down soon or not. So I wanted to cover it before it is gone if it if they decide to take it down. Uh, so this will be a fairly quick video. Just wanted to go over the cards uh, we'll be getting and the ratings and talk about, about the summons a little bit. So here it is, batch one. It's live already. It is Thursday, um, November the 2nd. And it, this one runs until November 16th. We have a new job, which I mentioned already in my calendar review, as well as some very good cards. So here it is, uh, uh, Amathea, I guess is the correct way to pronounce it. Uh, she is an amazing Mia job, like I mentioned last time. She looks really awesome too. Love her hat, love her outfit. Uh, so when you get her, you will get the crescent hat as a uh, free accessory when you pull her. Um, so she is a super powerful um, Mia job. Don't have to really repeat myself on that. Uh, so if you happen to draw her, she is incredibly powerful. Also, you'll be getting a free stamp this month um, for the first part here until the 16th. It's a Mia stamp saying, I'll go last. We got the I'll go first uh, with the last summon at end of last month. So this is the counterpart, uh, I'll go last. So if anything, I will be doing at least one summon on this first banner. I haven't heard any reports yet of people getting um, duplicate jobs on this banner yet. So maybe they were able to fix it, but there has been no official announcements yet. So these are the cards that we're going to be getting on this uh, new banner of boosted ability cards. So these are all really good. We finally got the good batch of these cards. Um, the first one here is uh, the fire one. It will give you the free accessory red ribbon. And all these cards are going to be pretty much the same. Uh, three of them are going to give you a lower critical resist. And the other three should give you break defense down. And these are all really, really good cards for Mia. Uh, among the best you'll be getting. So this is a good banner to pull on. Like I said, if you are looking to get Mia and uh, her new uh, her new uh, AOE cards. So if you summon from this banner, that will save you growth stars uh, in the long run. However, like I said, if you're a free-to-play player, uh, you may want to save this month uh, your resources for whenever we have another uh, surprise event coming. So... That's up to you guys. But anyway, I did want to talk about these cards. There are six of them, one of each element, and a three, like I said, three lower critical resist and three break defense down. Uh, I'll go over their, their uh, ratings in Ultima in just a minute. Uh, and only two of them will be giving you free accessories. This one's the Evil Eye. It will give you the, the Flan, uh, Flan Shawl. So these are really good. Um, and then, of course, it has Mia, uh, Mia Synchro. Uh, let's see here. Checking accessories. This just tells you how to put accessories on. So early acquisition cars. There's going to be some good ones being released into the ability shop if you did not manage to pull for them earlier. Uh, two of them will be uh, two trans cards. I believe that is the warrior and the ranger trans cards. Legendary mimic um, and a bunch of those. A uh, bunch of those which will be giving you um, some very good area uh, debuffs. So they are all really good cards. If you didn't get them, uh, might be a good chance to pick them up now in the ability shop if you have some extra extra ability tickets to throw around. Yes, Lightning is still available. It should be permanent uh, in the Ultimate Hero slot. And Supreme cards, uh, same same batch as you can see. We still have this at there. So that's pretty much it for batch one. Now batch two is a little bit more interesting. Uh, as you can see here, here's batch two. Uh, there are just there's just like a JPEG code there where it should be the image. Uh, so like I said, this is not really a very good um, news banner. So maybe they weren't supposed to uh, post it yet since it does say uh, November fifteenth on there. So the second batch will contain the Master Monk, which is an amazing job. It's the job that you guys should probably try to get if you're going to pull this month at all. Uh, like I said, this is not a limited time job. It is not a legendary job. So you can pull for him whenever. Um, but it is going to be joining the lineup. Uh, Thursday, November 16th at 7pm PST time zone. 
So um, there's just the, where the picture of sh the card should be. Here's the Master Monk. It can be a breaker or an attacker. Like I mentioned in my last video, it's going to really shine as a breaker, uh, not so much as an attacker. I'm actually a little bit worried to see some bad um, Master Monk attackers in multiplayer. He's not that great as an attacker, um, but uh, as a breaker, he's going to be busted. So going to be the best breaker for def uh, for a while for sure in global his ultimate is called final heaven i love that name area attack fists that lead the way to the new world love it so he is an earth light and dark type um he has an amazing ultimate which gives him looks like a uh, break defense down as well as monks trance brave faith and boost which is unbelievable and you can change his role like i just mentioned so in this in this uh, second batch, we're going to be getting uh, six more cards for Mia uh, that add Mia Synchro. And these will be pretty much the last of the Mia Synchro cards we're going to get for for a long time. Uh, these ones are going to be the AoE main target focus that add Weaken. So these cards are actually super strong. Uh, they do cost more orbs than the regular ones, but I believe they cost five orbs. They are definitely worth it. Um, they are very strong, uh, even though with the higher orb cost. Um, they are really good. So looks like the blue one next is gonna get the free accessory snakeskin eye patch, and then the light one is gonna give you free accessory crystal wings, which I would like to have the crystal wings. Uh, and I'll go over these cards on Ultima in just a second, but we are gonna get this really good card though, Black Widow, which is gonna give the ability sleep. So it affects enemies with sleep and also infects them with nightmare, which they take additional damage while asleep for several turns. So this is a pretty good card. You know Sleep has some good uses in tower events and uh, even in multiplayer, some limited use, especially if you're not able to break them, uh, break the Sakaris right away. If you can put them to sleep, that buys you one extra turn. So pretty good. Um, and it just talk, talks about the bad dream. So let's see here. I believe... Yes. So it says here, what's more, Black Widow has their ability levels raised by the Omega card obtained in this month's ranking event. So this is great. If you guys can get the card Black Widow, uh, you can raise its ability level by the Omega card in the month ranking uh, tower event. So that's pretty good. And then uh, there's going to be some more uh, early acquisition cards released in the second half of this month. So it's going to be the, the second half of the cards I just mentioned. Uh, two more of the trans cards, uh, that should be the monk and the mage ones. And then uh, six more of the legendary cards, which give you um, some good effects, including legendary dragon lord, which is probably one of the best cards right now. Uh, and then we're going to be, this is in, in a very important use right here. They're going to be removing 42 cards from the summoning lineup as of December 2nd. Uh, 7 p.m. So next month, this uh, December 2nd, 42 cards are leaving the, the summon pool, which is fantastic. Um, that means less dupe cards for us that we don't want. Uh, and here's a list of the cards that are going. Very old cards. Fat Chocobo, you know, G Gigant, uh, Mogul, um, Artemis, Hades, all those cards. You can read it for yourself. Um, they Now, these can be still obtained by buying them through the summon shop, so they're not, like, gone forever or whatever. It just means that you'll have less chance of pulling dupe cards uh, the more of these older cards they remove from the summoning banners. So that's really good news for us. Uh, can't wait for them to do that. Now, uh, of course, here's Lightning again. There's nothing to talk about there. So this is the other piece of information that's kind of um, interesting. It looks like uh, starting on the 16th, uh, there's going to be one new, one new alt, uh, Supreme card joining the lineup, which is going to be the Yasmat Final Fantasy 12 card. So as you can see here, Yasmat will be available. So if you know if you do your summons in the first half of this month, you won't have a chance to get Yasmat. But if if you wait till the second half, you'll have a chance to get um, this this the Supreme card as well in the summoning lineup. So kind of interesting. Um, kind of nice to have this early information. That way we can kind of plan a little bit. So I wanted to go over the Mia cards again. I I did it in a in a in a past video, but since we're getting them this month. I figure it's a good chance to go over them once more. So these first six right here are going to be the second batch um, AoE um, damage focus with uh, Weaken. 
As you can see, they're rated 93 of 100 in Japan. Uh, here they are. They are very strong. Uh, I definitely like them a lot. So um, if you want to summon this month, these are good to get these now. And then here are the other ones, the Break Defense Down and the Critical Resist. Uh, the uh, Critical Lower Resistance cards. There are six of them as well. It's funny that the two Break Defense Down are rated at 95, where the rest are rated at 93. So I'm not sure why Japan uh, values the Break Defense Down cards more. Um you know, but that they are rated slightly higher than the critical resist down ones. But as you can see, they are rated all 93. Uh, so, yeah, they are very good. These are all very good cards. So, uh, there's not the whole lot I can talk about them. I guess we can check out one of them. Let's see this one right here. Just look at its stats really quick. art on this one is really nice so here it is uh looks like come on load up there it is so yeah so it will cost you five uh five orbs uh max power attack power is 1650 and max break will be 1140 um it's this should also be i believe this has multiple strikes also but anyway these are super good super good cards um like i said if you want to pull from them now you can save some grow stars later on Otherwise, uh, probably just wait. Now, one other piece of news I wanted to share with you guys. This is on the Square Enix Support Center. It looks like we're going to be having a server maintenance um, on uh, November 6th. So, Monday, November 6th, uh, we'll get a maintenance. It's going to last, looks like, seven hours. So, they don't detail what they're going to do on this maintenance. Um, I'm hoping they will fix the... Dupli duplicate jobs and uh, fourth skill panel lock on this on this maintenance although I from what I've read so far I don't think they've identified the issue yet so we can only hope that this maintenance will fix the problems uh, but it has not been confirmed yet by Square Enix so that's pretty much it for this video now you know I am super tempted to 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 do some uh, summons this month guys I'm not gonna lie um, it is very tempting for me I really want this job. I really, I've been hearing a lot of people um, uh, pulling this job already, and it looks amazing. So, let me know in the comments. Um, I might just go YOLO and do some summons since I want to do a few summons anyway. I might try to, I might try my luck at the pity pool to see if I get a dupe job or not. Uh, like I said, since I do want some of the cards this month, so I'll probably be doing that video. Um, I'll probably wait till after the server maintenance. So. Until next time, guys, this has been Lotus Moon. I'll see you guys next video.